Kansas 8 Weather Center. Here's meteorologist James Gilbert. Tired of watering the plants? We've got rain on the way. Likely tonight and into tomorrow, a late shower going to be in the forecast. Right now, it looks great outside. We've got no issues, certainly, over the next few hours. I think it's really green light even for around this evening, maybe nine holes uh, before sunset tonight, well after 8 o'clock. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit tougher to get around, and I got that highlighted in red, uh, but we see improving conditions, certainly by the weekend. Uh, there's that sky, a lot of blue out there, but you see clouds starting to increase from off in the distance. It's a bit breezy. That wind helping those temperatures climb, likely 80, I would say, in the next couple of hours. We'll go 81, 82, and with that strong wind, that helps get all the way up to Lake Ontario. Uh, you need light winds to get that lake breeze to develop to cool those numbers down along the shoreline. So I think even up in North Greece, uh, up in uh, North Webster could get to to that 80 degree mark. All right, camping forecast, one of the biggest camping weekends of the year. Uh, I think we're gonna bring in some extra blankets. Look at these overnight lows, Friday night and into Saturday, Saturday night and into Sunday, down into the 50s. Uh, so we aren't quite warm all the way through Memorial Day, but we are cer certainly warm today. And then if we jump into that forecast, we certainly see a climbing temperatures. Radar and satellite, there's the closest rain, looks like in Pennsylvania here. Large storm system, it's pretty unorganized though, it's spread out. So you've got rain all the way up into Canada, and then this extends pretty far south down into the Gulf. For us, we're going to get pretty much um, that low pass right overhead, and that's kind of a good thing. It actually helps pull back on some of the severe weather. I don't expect any uh, strong wind gusts or hail when this uh, system moves through. Let's time it out for you. Here we go, future cast. Uh, there's the lack of rain until I think overnight and really even into early Wednesday, or Wednesday, Friday morning. Here's 8 a.m., here's your morning commute as we, uh, right before we kick off the weekend, could deal with a quick passing downpour. Temperatures warm into the low 70s, and then we clear skies out. Then I think we get one more round Friday night and into Saturday morning. Uh, there it is, a couple of downpours there. If you say, oh, is it going to rain all day Saturday? Well, the answer is definitively no. I think the rain is actually done by lunchtime on Saturday, and then we've got a good-looking afternoon. It'll be cooler than average, stuck in the 60s, uh, but the good news is we warm up real quickly as we get into Sunday and Memorial Day. Travel forecast, if we're getting out this afternoon, Syracuse, upper 70s there, Albany, mid-70s, breezy. They've got rain showers really into much of Friday. Let's stick on the eight-day forecast here for a second. So Sunday looks good, upper 70s, and then there it is, Memorial Day, mid-80s, hot, humid, real summer feel to that unofficial kickoff to summer. Uh, and then we hold on to those warm temperatures. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's kicking off the month of June, certainly on a high note. If you like warm temperatures, we've got them coming your way. I will say that is midsummer heat right there, yeah. James. Uh, thank you. It's 